Hey guys, my name is Jen, aka Green and Sheen, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we have plant mail, and no, I did not break my no buying, no shopping plant ban. This mail is actually from an Instagram friend, and yeah, I'm super excited. Um, first off, I want to start by saying that I had to bust out the mic today. There's a lot of noise going on outside. So I'm just hoping and praying that the audio sounds good. I get really nervous when I have to use this mic because it's hit or miss. So I'm sorry in advance if the audio isn't perfect. But yeah, anyway, let's freaking get into it. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is until I've already shown you guys what it is, but I'm super excited. So Sharon, hopefully I'm saying your name right, she reached out to me and told me that she would, that she had a wish list plant that I talked about in my um, Let's Chop Some Anthuriums video. She had commented saying that she could send me something. <laughs> How freaking cute! What the heck? Uh, this is such a unique way okay ah oh, this, this is so cute okay i'm sorry anyway she <laughs> i got so like distracted she reached out to me to send me a wishlist plant that i talked about in that video so yeah let's freaking do it here's the first <laughs> oh gosh will it focus here's the first one this is joanna mm -hmm. Let's freaking open it. Hopefully. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? In a good way. In a good way. Do you guys see that? Oh, please focus. So this, she sent me pings. Surprise. <laughs> this is Pinguicula Joanna. I'm still like the packaging. The packaging, this is like <laughs> the most fun package like I've ever gotten as far as like packaging wise goes. I'm filming on my phone by the way, so that's why the focus is like tripping out. But yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, okay. So there's one. Let's go ahead and open up another one. Um and y'all already know I'm not great at pronouncing these pinguicula names, so I'm so sorry if I'm butchering them. But the next one is Pinguicula Kelani, I think is what it says here. This is so fun. What the heck? Oh, wow. This one's a little bit squished in there. She's a, little, she's a big one for sure. But look at that. Super cute. And of course, I'll be putting the names on the screen. Um, let me put the lids back on so that I don't mix them up. Hi, baby. Penelope's heading over here. Okay, so here's another one. Ah, okay, so this is the one that she reached out and was like, hey, I have that pinguicula that you want, I can send it to you. And that is a pinguicula lilac lollipop. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh no, it got stuck to the, <laughs> to the fluff here. Oh my God, it's so freaking cute. Hold on, can I show it? I don't wanna like ruin it. Please focus on the plant not at me oh my gosh there we go look at that i'm like trying to bend my wrist so i can show you guys it's so <gasps> no <sighs> don't worry guys it's still fine i i caught it it's it's fine <laughs> everything is fine okay so i'm gonna put this i'm gonna lay it on the moss it just got stuck to the polyfill which is fine Oh my gosh, but it's so cute. Hopefully I can show you guys better like this. There you go. That's better. Yee! 
I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in there for now. And then there's one more. Okay, just making sure there's like nothing in there, nothing else. Okay, so this next one is, uh, ooh, here we go. Lawiana, Lawian, Lawiana. I think that's an A at the end, crossed with a marginata. I'm trying my best with these names, but I will put them on the screen. Oh my gosh. Okay, hopefully it's not stuck to the... Oh my god, this one is stunning. Stunning. Okay, I'm just taking off all the fluff before I show you guys the plant. It's so pretty. Look at that. The edges of the leaves are like super pink. And then, is it focusing on the plant? <laughs> Hold on, I'm using like my front camera. The edges of the leaves are pink and so is the center. Super duper cute. Sharon, thank you so, 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 so much. I love all of these so much. I love the way that you packaged all of these. Like, this, <laughs> this is, I'm keeping these Play Doh containers, and if I ever ship pings to anyone, I will definitely be using these. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to, um, oh. I'm going to share her Instagram over here and I'll have it linked down below in the description box as well. And that way you guys can go check out her Instagram. I love her. I love her content and like the pictures. She has beautiful plants, beautiful anthuriums. And she also like recently successfully pollinated pinguiculas and like, had, like got seeds out of it and everything. So she's like, posting about her journey on there too so if you're interested in checking that out definitely follow her on instagram but that's not going to be it for this video i actually i'm going to settle these in their temporary home so i'm not going to show that in this video they're just going to go in like a little takeout container in some carnivorous soil i actually want to go thrifting soon i don't know if i'm going thrifting tomorrow or on monday with my sister either or i want to look for a glass dish to like a really cute something really cute something to like put these in i either want to like find a cute dish to have like a community ping type of setup community pot or if i can't find like something that i like then maybe just like a cute little i don't know a cute something <laughs> to put these in because sometimes I don't even find like dishes sometimes I'll find like the most randomest thing and I'm like I can put a ping in that <laughs> but yeah I will check back in with you guys um maybe I'll show myself I'll try to like do like a little vlog style of me like at the thrift store and stuff but we shall see we shall see no promises but i'll check back in with you guys later <laughs>
been a few days since I filmed the unboxing of the pings and a few days since I went thrifting too um, but I finally want to show you guys what I picked up at the thrift store so the first thing I got was this dish actually I really love by the way 
I look really shiny because I did my skincare. I promise you this is not all sweat. <laughs> it's just lotion and like all the skincare stuff. But anyway, so I got this dish and this is where I want to put my pings in. I love the way that it looks. It just looks so freaking nice. Like, I believe that this dish was like... I know I got footage of it and I believe it had the little sticker on it but I think it was either $3.99 or $4.99 I can't really remember but then they had like half off on dishes like glass dishes so it, I only got it for like $2.99 I believe because I remember it was like half the price of what it was so yeah this is the first thing I got super duper cute I love the rim and everything and it just looks so nice and like earthy tone <laughs> vibes I don't know I really like it and I think it'll make a really cute mini like community ping pot so this is where we're putting the pings and then I also picked up this a super beautiful teapot Ugh. I actually found this at Goodwill and it was priced $4.99 but it has a chip right here and then like a chip right here along the side of the spout. I don't know if you guys can see it. I know there's a glare but yeah I asked them if they could uh, discount it a little bit because of those chips and she took off like a dollar. So this was $4.99 but I got it for $3.99. And I was thinking of putting a anthurium in it. I don't know if I want to directly plant it inside or if I just want to put a plant and have this be like a cover pot. But I was heavily inspired by my friend on Instagram. I believe her name is Kiwani. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. But I'll put her Instagram over here. And she puts her anthuriums in like really cute teapots. So yeah, I was heavily inspired by her and her Instagram and just her style overall. But like I said, I don't know if I want to put this like plant and anthurium directly inside. It does have um, I don't know look it has like the holes right there for the spout so I was just thinking if I did plant it inside I could always like water it and then just like dump the excess water but I don't know I don't know it you guys let me know what I should do comment down below what you guys think I should do with it also another thing that I thought that was really cool about this teapot was that it says Japan at the bottom and I don't know if that means it was made in Japan if it was that's so freaking cool imagine somebody just like from here freaking put Japan in the bottom but like in my head and between us it's from Japan okay so <laughs> just go with it but yeah I just thought it was so freaking beautiful and yeah as far as like for my plants goes, these are the two things that I picked up. I did pick up a few other things, but they're more like clothes. I got myself some pajama shorts and my husband likes some sweatpants and yeah, just like clothes. But anyway, yeah. So we're going to be putting our pings in this. And speaking of pings, so the pings that I unboxed are in this a takeout container and they've actually been doing really well let me open this i sat them directly in front of my mother grow light and they've been they've already been like growing and doing so so good especially the leilani here i did put name tags so that i wouldn't forget this one oh <laughs> the one that i thought was kaylani <laughs> But this one here has just been like popping off. Hold on. I'm so scared of dropping. And this name tag is just like flopping around everywhere. It's really shallow. So that's why. But let me zoom you guys in. But yeah. As you can see they're doing really good. I'll show you guys a better look at them once they're inside this dish. Because I feel really scared to like lean this too far forward. And then they just come falling out. But yeah. I'm actually glad that I let them settle in for a few days. I think it's been a week. 
I think it's been a week since I filmed me like unboxing them and stuff so they've had a week to settle and everything um so yeah it's not like they're like I just unboxed them and then I'm putting them into I don't know they were just able to settle in so let's go ahead and put them in this dish I'm going to move the camera downward so that you guys can see better here's our glass dish I have our trusty California carnivores pinguicula mix that's what I always use um, let me go ahead and undo this okay so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with the pinguicula mix I really like the way that this mix feels it's just so like sandy and gritty and yeah I don't know why I just like the texture of it but I think I'm just going should I fill it up more I think this is good I kind of like that the rim is still like showing here I think that's actually perfect although I don't have a lot of mix left but I guess I'll just hold on to it anyway let me go ahead and wet it a little bit just so it's not dry and normally i do keep my pings in a glass like clear dish so i'm able to kind of see like when the water is like when there's no more water in there but usually what i do anyway oh, i'm gonna take this off because ain't nobody got time for that but um Usually what I do anyway is I'll, add, I'll give water to my pings whenever I see that the top soil is dry. So yeah, I do let it dry out before I add more water. And then where is my... Oh, it's all the way over there. Hold on. So I do want to keep the name tags in here. Hopefully I'm able to do that. But I'm just going to create like shallow holes there's four of them so i'll do like four little holes kind of give them space in between two and i don't use these tweezers for anything like these are like my plant only tweezers <laughs> they suck for eyebrows so i don't use them for myself but the first one i want to get is oops sorry y'all I hate the way that sounds um i think i'm gonna do the leilani first it's really big and i do want to keep the name tags like within the soil too so that i don't ever forget what they are but let me grab it gently i think i'll put this one over here She was doing so good in there. I'm sure they were doing, they were, oh, that was, this is so sappy. Um, I'm sure they were loving it too because of the high humidity. But they are going to do just fine in ambient conditions too, I'm sure. I'm just going to push in the soil just a little bit around it so that it makes contact with the roots. There we go. So there's one. Oh my gosh, I can already tell this is gonna look so good. Like a little ping salad. <laughs> and I'll just put the name tag along the side there. So it'll just be like that. Okay, so we have one down, three more to go. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have been touching the dirt. Okay, next one. I'll do, yeah, I'll do one over here. And I'll do the Lawiana cross with Emarginata next. 
I feel like they've also been kind of sun stressing too because of the mother grow light, but it could just be me in my head. And I'm just gently, but also like kind of slightly firmly like pushing them down because again, I want the roots to make contact with the soil. And I'm just pushing the soil inwards. I have a few videos of me potting up pings, so that's why I'm not like zooming y'all in and everything. I'm sure y'all get the gist of it. Okay. Love it. I love it. And I'll put that one along the side too. So now we have two in there. And then the other two are a little bit smaller. I'm going to put the Joanna over here. Because I think that'll give her a little bit more room. Hold on, let me push this forward. Sorry, y'all. So I'm just going to gently grab her. Handling pings, though, will always make me nervous. It'll always make me nervous. Maybe if I handle them a bit more, I'll get used to it. But they just seem so fragile. <laughs> okay, gently pushing it down. And I'm just scooching in the soil underneath it. All right, we have Joanna in there. And then the last one is the lilac lollipop, and that'll go over here in this little corner these are like super tiny so I'm really nervous to grab them okay that's a bit too deep let me cover that a little bit And then we have the lilac lollipop in this corner. And here is our little ping community dish. I love the way that this turned out. I'm super excited for the lilac lollipop to like get bigger and just grow out a little bit more. There's actually three of them in here. And then we have the Lauiana cross with marginata, the Leilani, and then Joanna over here. Super pretty. Let me zoom y'all in so y'all can get a closer look at them. This one has, hold on, no wait, this one has like a beautiful purple edge around the leaves. And then the lilac lollipop also gets purple. Um this one has like beautiful pink edges and pink center and then as you can see the joanna is like also sun stress is pink so stinking beautiful these are all freaking beautiful i love them let me zoom you out a little bit more i love them so much all right guys that's gonna be it for today's video i hope that you all enjoyed this video let me know down below if you guys like this type of video i know that a while back in the beginning of my youtube journey i did film like a like a almost something similar like a ping unboxing and then go thrifting with me or something but in y'all's defense i hardly thrifted anything like i hardly got any footage so yeah i really tried my best and i tried to get some clips of like what i was looking at and everything so yeah let me know if you guys enjoyed it um but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i hope that you guys really enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified each time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye